Hello, we're working on problem 33 in section 3.8, that's page 387. The instructions say evaluate the limit using Hopital's rule if appropriate. So, this limit specifically here is the limit as x goes to 0 from the positive side of 1 over x minus 1 over the quantity 1 minus x squared. I went ahead and wrote that problem down for us right here. Let's see. So, can you see that we have something that is indeterminate? As x goes to 0, this term is approaching infinity. This term is approaching, I have a minus sign there, it's just a little obscured, uh, 1 over, hmm, and this is slightly less than 1, but going to 1. So infinity minus infinity. That's not a form that we can use Hopital's rule on. So I'm going to, in, in my standard fashion, I'm going to do algebraic manipulation then Hopital's, then likely more algebraic manipulation. So, let's leave my limit alone. I have two fractions. I'm going to get a common denominator, x times 1 minus cosine x. Uh, this term, to get a 1 minus cosine x in the denominator, I have to put in a 1 minus cosine x in the numerator. This term, to get an x times 1 minus cosine x in the denominator, I have to put an x in the numerator. Well, isn't that convenient? Because as x goes to 0, the numerator becomes 1 minus 1 minus 0, so that's 0, over this becomes 0 minus z times 0, so that's 0. Now, that's an appropriate problem to apply Hopital's to. So I got the algebraic simplification to something that made Hopital's a lot more tractable. That's not all bad because the derivative, of course, of 1 is nothing. Negative cosine x, its derivative is just sine x. Derivative of negative x is negative 1. Works pretty well. Here I'll use a little product rule. So that's 1 times 1 minus cosine x. Then the second piece is x times the derivative of this piece here, which is negative well, now positive sine x. Okay, well wouldn't it be just marvelous if this worked out perfectly? Uh, hmm. So let's see what happens here. The numerator, uh, as x goes from the positive direction, that is going towards 0. This is going towards uh, 1. So the numerator gets closer and closer to negative 1. The denominator gets closer and closer to, let's see, we have 1 minus cosine x. That's getting close to 0. Plus x is getting close to 0, and that's getting close to 0. My oh my. So um, this Let's see, this piece is getting close to 0 from the positive direction. This is getting close to 0 from the positive direction. That's getting close to 0 from the positive direction. So this goes to 0 from the positive direction. So this whole thing should approach negative infinity. And Hopital's rule doesn't actually apply there.